Hey there. On today's episode, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of little wins that happened from the tool that we've been using, as well as the boring meeting that I absolutely preach to all of my clients and that I hold them accountable to. So this doesn't really fit into 90 seconds, so I wanted to take a couple extra minutes to make this uh, video and or podcast um, for you guys to hear the whole thing out. So to set the stage, um, the past couple weeks, our daughter has been uh, pretty sick, uh, on and off with an ear infection that has not healed. Um, we've tried different things. And at one point we were kind of getting back into the groove of things. And we had a night where she finally let me take over for a nighttime routine. When I say she, I'm talking about my daughter, not my wife. Um, I think she had wanted me to, and she kept having moments where she was trying to hand off more stuff back to me. Cause I think when she's sick, she has a really hard time responding to me. Um, and you know, I try to give the same, you know, nurturing experience and oftentimes she really just wants mama. Um, so we're getting back into the flow of things for, you know, a couple of days and I got one back to normal, but more importantly, <clears throat> as I was doing it, uh, the nighttime routine. So we typically go bath and then we go upstairs, um, get her pajamas on and then put her into bed, read her story, call it a night. And Alyssa has been very successful in, you know, for some time where she's able to read her the story and then she's down and there's no more. And I've been having challenges where I, I do what I think is the same thing, um, but she's a little goofy or she's being silly. And I say, hey, maybe uh, I, I hold a similar boundary where it's like, hey, it looks like Everly's not ready for a book. Do you want me to keep reading or do you want me to go? And like, I keep uh, sort of like threatening to go. And so at some point I offered and, and so I ended up going and then I think she wanted water. She wanted medicine. She wanted, she wanted a bunch of different things. She wanted her mama bear. She wanted her baby bear. She wanted all the things. And like an hour and a half or something crazy later, she's like, what the hell have you been doing this whole time? And immediately I was on the defense and I said, I, can we not talk about this right now? I am gassed from 90 minutes straight of thinking I'm done when I'm not. And she's like, no, like it's fresh in your brain. Like, let's talk about it now. And I was like, I, I don't know. And I kind of spit out some things. We didn't really come to a great conclusion in that moment. So what I did was, so one of the tools I wanted to share with you guys today, I'm going to leave a link. Uh, I'm also an affiliate for them is persist. So they are building an app. Uh, they're in the earlier stages, um, but they've built in some of the things sort of for me. Um, I preach and practice uh, having a weekly meeting with your partner. And so one of the things that we often talk about is how to have those meetings, how to have them be successful. So I'm going to show you guys the inside of my app. So if you're watching on a video, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, this will be a little bit more clear. It won't be quite as valuable if you're listening, but I'll certainly dictate it. So we're in the Persist app um, and I'm clicking on your household. So one of the things that I do every week with Alyssa is we have this weekly meeting. We talk about things that are we're struggling with that you know are coming up on the calendar, et cetera. So one of these things, I, I was like, I don't want to talk about this in the moment. Let's please, but let's talk about in the future. So if I go to um, insights and, or I want to go over to collaborate and I want to come over to here, I'm going to go over to nighttime, which I would say Alyssa runs the majority of. However, um, it's something that we also do share. So child bedtime routine. Here we go. So we're going to click this and right here is I want to talk about it with her. So what I do is I go in here and I say pin and I want to have a discussion because need help with routine for Zach. And so what we kind of came to was I pin this in. And so when you go back to your household, these are the things that have been pinned. So here it is right here is one of the discussion things that I really want to talk about. And so and I gave this example earlier. I think this is the actual one. So from here, one of the things that I really wanted to talk with her about was like, what are you doing differently? And what we discovered in that conversation was that she 
when she had her on the changing table, was getting her diaper on, getting her pajamas on, she was having these little tickle fights and really getting that like last silly energies out of the night. And if she was starting a little tickle fight and she was like, no, or she's being kind of cranky, she's like, okay, no need. I wasn't doing that. And what we realized is she was having these silly moments because I was not doing that with her. She keeps uh, versus I was still having them a little bit in bed. She keeps the going into bed very um, like a, a sacred place for rest and sleep and like calm down and cuddles. Um, and so by having that meeting one, uh, bringing it up in that conversation, we were much better able to navigate having a good conversation about that. We were able to come back to it. It is something that, you know, I, I wasn't really open to. I was pretty defensive in the moment. Having my parenting critiques is not fun especially in the moment, but it was really great to talk about the next day. And ever since I've been doing that, I've been making sure to include cuddles. I've been more attuned to um, our toddler's needs and our energy level right before bed. It's made a huge difference. So I highly recommend using Persist as a tool that I would recommend for anyone that is looking to organize some of those weekly conversations. Um, you can click on the link in the bio here and you can get a free um free care load assessment so you can take a look at it and see like who owns what how bad is it um, i highly recommend checking it out great tool that was a, this was the short episode today and wanted to leave you with that i will look forward to sharing with you more in the near future thanks <laughs>